This is a training demo by SQL Server 2012 Tutorial.com. Today we are going to discuss using joins and views in SQL Server. A uh, very important topic. So, uh, what in the world is a join? Well, joins are an integral component of relational database design and usage. Um, really, a SQL join facilitates in bringing data from various SQL tables by using T-SQL or Transact SQL. Um, they are used uh, and able to pull information in tables by using primary key, also known as PK, and foreign key, FK, links. Uh, if you watch our last video on uh, database relationships, that is where we covered these uh, concepts in detail. In fact, we even showed you how to uh, create them in uh, different tables. But just a recap, a primary key is really a column in a SQL table that uniquely identifies all the rows. Okay, so let's say you have an employee table. You could possibly use an employee ID or a social security number as the primary key. Now, related to this is a foreign key. This is going to be a column in a child table. Um, that basically uh, contains the same information as the primary key in in the parent table okay uh, so a good example i like to use for this is a um, let's say you have a customer table with a customer id as a primary key and uh, you are going to have a child table orders where uh, you will store information on the orders placed by the customers now within that order table uh, orders table you will have a foreign key um, basically uh, the field is going to be customer ID but point back to the customer and we will take a look at that in detail but uh, just wanted to uh, bring that bring that up now as far as the types of joins that are out there uh, really there's inner and outer joins um, so let's go ahead and dig deeper uh, an inner join is really used to pull matching data from two tables uh, together the most common type of join in practice by far as uh, you know most times we are trying to pull information that is related into one place uh, again like I mentioned you may have a customers table that that is what I will consider a primary table and then you have an orders table which is going to be your secondary table and inner join will really combine data by using the primary key in the first table okay um, with the foreign key in the orders table okay now when you do that the null values do not match other null values so they are ignored also you can have any number of joins in one statement as long as there is a valid relationship between the tables now in order to understand inner joins in SQL we are going to use uh, when diagrams this is a concept from uh, mathematics to discuss logic and whatnot I have included a link from Wikipedia so feel free to check that out and then after that we are going to um, uh, do a demo uh, basically uh, on Northwind database which is a sample database from Microsoft okay so uh, let me go to the next slide so here is an inner join I am representing my tables with a circle so on the left side we have the customers table and on the right side we have the orders table okay now you, you notice the portion in the middle which is overlapping uh, this would be considered an inner join okay these are the customers that have placed an order and vice versa these are the orders that have a customer tied to that okay now uh, as far as um, in in Northwind database I actually have management studio up and running um, and uh, I have a few databases but let's uh, let's go into uh, the Northwind database uh, this is a sample database from Microsoft and it's got a few tables things like uh, you know customers employees orders um, and so if I look at my um, in fact I can show you this uh, database diagram in here we, we had created this last time and so uh, on the left side we have a customers table you have a primary key customer ID and you have other fields related to the customer including company name contact name address information phone numbers okay 
Now this table is related to the orders table which is the one on the right. Now this table has uh, order information, things like order ID, uh, order date, uh, shipping information and whatnot. But notice that there is a link between the two. And the link happens to be a uh, link from the primary key here, which is the customer ID, to the foreign key, which is the customer ID in the orders table. Okay? So that is, in a sense, how you uh, create an inner join. You can also highlight this, and this will tell you, um, you know, the relationship between the two. So I think visually it's, it's easier to understand some of this concept. Um, you know, as opposed to just, uh, you know, talking in theory uh, and you are unable to grasp the concept. And now moving on, as far as a, uh, you know, the syntax for inner join, really there are two methods that are out there. Um, I, will, uh, I will discuss both of them. The old school method of doing this is you do a select star, which basically means you're selecting everything from what? From your first table customers and we are going to alias it with a C uh, it's just all it does is you know it's it's an identifier comma the second table orders also aliased with O and this is where you uh, where you create the join you say where I only want those records where the customer ID in this table matches the customer ID in this table okay so I'm actually going to highlight this do a control C, go to management studio, create a new query, minimize object explorer, paste this, okay, and I will say this is the old school method of doing this, okay, so um, now <coughs> you will notice, and by the way, you can, we can order this by order by let's just go by customer customer ID we'll just do that which I think it is already in fact let's just do by customer name okay uh, which is C dot customer name okay so now when I execute this somehow it doesn't like this I just want to make sure I have it spelled right Oh, uh, sorry, company name is what it is. <coughs> so now when I do this, okay, I'm highlighting the SQL, executing this. Everything is sorted by company name. So this first customer, Alfred's Futter Kisti, I guess, and they have placed six orders, okay? And if you, if you look at these first uh, rows, you can go to the right side you can see that these were uh, actually this is really old database but you, they were ordered back in 1998 okay uh, here's the freight information and some shipping information and they're from Germany okay um, and then also what we can do is uh, you can see that the next uh, uh, customer has got four orders in there so that's really how you create a join we could also done this uh, separately if you wanted to, we could have gone uh, select star from, uh, let's do customers, where customer ID is equal to ALFKI. This should really return one row, okay? Because that is one customer. But now if I do this and change the order, so in other words, I would like to... Uh, return all the orders this should return six records just like we saw okay so so that as uh, that is an inner join uh, and uh, but that is the old way of doing it how do you do this in in the new uh, I guess new syntax what you can do is um, we'll come down here new way and I will say this and I should basically um, get the same same number of records which I believe was 830 okay so if I select this you will notice that again we are you know returning the same number of records and the main difference here is basically um, you start out with your first table 
you do the alias, inner join, second table, and then do the on clause. Okay, um, so fairly similar, but um, you know, um, just I guess slight differences between the two. So I basically showed you um, uh, the demo on the Northwind database. We are also going to uh, use school database. In fact, uh, let me do that now. I can save this. We'll call it join one. Okay. And um, for my school database, I also already have a SQL script, which is uh, school inner join. And so let's let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to switch the database to school. Okay. Uh, now, if you see, I am selecting um, <coughs> department ID, department name, class ID, class name, department ID from the second table. Okay, uh, and the first table is departments, inner join, classes, and then here is the common field. So let's go ahead and highlight this and run this, and then we can uh, we can get some idea on, on what we're trying to do. So when I run this you can see that I am getting uh, five rows in fact let me do this I will go ahead and order this order by D dot department ID now uh, if I highlight this again and run it it should be sorted so you can see that um, now we have our uh, first department which is um, these two classes are from IT okay these are the classes that are being offered so we're combining data again like I mentioned from departments and classes okay 